U.S. President Donald Trump and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin meet for their first face-to-face -face talks in Hamburg. The meeting is ongoing on the sidelines of the G20 summit in the German city. Trump has said he looks forward to positive things happening for the U.S. and Russia. Putin also described talks with the U.S. president as important. Moscow says the Syria and Ukraine crises, the war on terror, as well as strategic security and bilateral issues are on the agenda of the talks. Trump's critics in the U.S. accuse him of colluding with Russia ahead of the 2016 president election. They also claim Putin's interference in the vote helped Trump emerge as winner. To discuss that, we're now joined by Dr. Marcus Papadopoulos, who is editor at Politics First, and he's joining us live now by Skype from London. Sir, what do you make of this first meeting? It was certainly friendly um, and a lot quite expected by many people. Well, the media of the world has turned this meeting between President Trump and President Putin into something that it was never going to be. We have to remember that there were so many problems <clears throat> in the relations between Russia and America. And no matter how good the rapport becomes, if it becomes, between President Putin and President Trump, those problems between Moscow and Washington are not going to be resolved. Essentially, there are three core Russian grievances that they expect the Americans to concede. First of all, the Russian government wants <clears throat> NATO to pull back its forces from uh, the western borders of the Russian Federation, so for NATO to pull its forces away from the Baltic states and away from uh, Poland. Also, the Russians will insist on the Americans dismantling their missile defense system in Eastern Europe, and the Russians will insist that Washington puts into writing a guarantee that uh, Ukraine, Georgia, and Moldova will never ever be brought in to NATO. Now, President Trump is not going to uh, concede to that. And indeed, no American president would concede to it. So yes, there has been a meeting uh, today between President Putin and President Trump. What will come out of it? Nothing of importance whatsoever. Of course, there will be the diplomatic niceties. Mr. Trump and Mr. Putin will say, um, we discussed important issues, we had candid conversations, we agreed there's areas to work on, there were also serious areas um, of disagreement, but that is it. And also as well we need to take into consideration that uh, President Trump has been making a lot of very, very hostile moves towards Russia. He's increased NATO's uh, presence. On, uh, on Russia's borders. He's uh, blamed Russia for the conflict in the Donbass. He's accused Russia of stealing the Crimea from Ukraine. And also he's come out with a, with a lot of um, inflammatory uh, anti-Russian rhetoric as well, uh, accusing Russia um, of supporting um, uh, dictatorships. He's obviously referring to Syria and Iran. And also uh, Trump said that uh, Russia needs to join uh, the community of uh, responsible nations. Well, the irony there is that while Russia is already a member of the, of the uh, community of responsible nations, America is the leading country um, of irresponsible nations in the world. We'll leave it at that, Mr. Dr. Papadopoulos, but of course, as always, as always we appreciate your insight.